Hey guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel and apparently welcome back to 2007 YouTube where everyone had candles burning in their background. I needed something to balance the foreground light and the background light because it's a super gloomy day outside. So I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's very warm looking back there compared to the neutral slash cool up here. I don't know. We're moving forward though. Today is going to be a review of some Sydney Grace eyeshadows. A while back I posted a review of their cream shadows which are incredible. If you've ever been curious about them or cream shadows in general, highly recommend you go check out that video because like I said they're awesome but in that video a lot of you guys after seeing I had a little order mishap and so I not only got my order but somebody else's with a ton of pressed powder shadows and a lot of you guys were curious about them so this is not only going to be a review talking about them but specifically going through their most recent launch and their first palette ever the autumn's rain palette it launched right around if not on black friday so I was very much in a shopping mood and especially Especially once I saw this color palette, it was mine. At the time, the whole site was 25% off with the exception of this palette. Instead, because it was a new launch, 25% of the proceeds of this palette went to campfire victims. And it is actually still the case. If you buy from now until December 31st, 25% of the proceeds of this will go to campfire victims. So just an FYI, if you are considering purchasing or are on the fence, between now and December 31st would be a good time to buy. This video is also going to be a collaboration with fellow YouTuber Alexandria S. She's also going to be giving you her thoughts on the palette as well as a look. We figured it would be fun since there are so many incredible shadows in here, so many different combinations for both of us to give you a little something different with what you could do with this palette. So I highly recommend you go check out her video, subscribe to her channel if you haven't already. She talks about makeup, does unboxing. She's currently doing a 12 days of lipstick series which is very cool so definitely go check her out and if any of you guys here are new to the channel from her video hello and welcome thank you for coming to check my channel out so let's get into the review um, for starters this palette retails for $52 and while that might seem a little high coming from a brand that for me in general with indie brands it's always so hard for me to place mentally where they're where they are in the affordable versus luxury spectrum so a 52 $52 palette in my mind starts getting up there. However, when you consider that the individual shadows from Sydney Grace retail for $5 for the uh, mattes and shimmers and then $6 for the pressed pigments, this is not a bad deal. For 50, you get 15 shadows in here, full size pans. And if you were to build it yourself, it would be $75 for the whole palette. So you're still getting the same quantity and quality, spoiler alert, but for about $25 less. So in this palette, you get eight mattes and seven shimmer textures. The mattes, while they might at face value look like they are those solid neutral shades that you use either in your outer corner as liner, your crease shades, kind of those classic matte shadow uses, there's actually some good colorful shades in here, like this one called Supreme Harvest, which is this beautiful, vibrant, but still kind of deep burnt orange color. Majestic Breeze is this beautiful turquoise. I, for, the color is just kind of escaping me, but it is just this beautiful deep blue-green shade. And then these two plums down here, Countess is lighter, whereas Brilliant Realm is a deep, kind of a blackened plum. Then you definitely get into some more vibrant shades here in the shimmery textures, like with Amber Jewels, this gorgeous cranberry, Sovereign Rain, a very vibrant looking purple, and Fallen Splendor, which is on my eyes right now. I mean, all of these, some combination of a few of these shadows are on my eyes, but that's the, the boldest shade, I would say, on my eyes right now. And yet you still have your, com what I would consider my comfort zone shades, like this Magnificent Chestnut, kind of a classic bronzy brown, and Wondrous Night, which is a classic neutral, well, maybe cooler leaning taupe. The quality of these is consistent with all of the other shadows that I have tried, which for reference, reference. <laughs> um, these are discontinued. These are no longer available. So I didn't, they're totally new and I didn't want to throw them away because how wasteful, but just know you can't get any of these shades. This over here is clustered together because it, it is the winter bundle. And this is what I originally tried to purchase with my initial purchase from the brand. Instead, I got um, some other, somebody else ordered, they had a Natasha Denona, I think it's the tropical palette. They had like a dupe for that bundled up on the site that you could purchase. 
So that is where a lot of these shades come in. And then I also purchased these beautiful, more primary yellows because I was trying to put together a yellow shadows video, which is seemingly never going to come because everything else has been coming before it, but I'm, I'm kind of trying to work on it. So over the past few months of trying these and then now having tried all the shadows in this palette for about the past week, almost week and a half at this point, the pigmentation and quality is consistent across the board, both in the single shadows as well as those in this palette. I've been really impressed overall. I think it's a good deal, five bucks per pan, given the quantity, the quality, the variety of shades. I mean, the site, just go to the site. You, you might be a little overwhelmed by how many shades you have to choose from because there is just a little bit of everything. Um, and yet, this is probably a good time to mention that there aren't any exact dupes, um, at least from those that I have to compare with in here between these and the Autumn's Rain palette. There are some that come very close, which I'll flash up on the screen right now, and those would perform pretty similarly on the eye. Like, I don't think it's worth buying the individual shadow if you have it here in the palette or vice versa. But I was honestly kind of surprised at the lack of dupes I had, given just how many shadows I had um, and, and also how many shadows are actually in this palette. So now let's get into a few looks that I've created using this. Starting off with today's because it's super, super simple. Um, in the crease, I have Palace and Nature's Crown. Just swept that right through there. Then all across the lid, I put Fall Splendor, which is a gorgeous bold green. And then to deepen up the outer corner, I just went in with Golden Wheat. Now the other look I did was a little bit more bold. I started out with Supreme Harvest up in my crease, running that through and pretty far up close to my brow bone. I helped blend it out with a little bit of nature's crown and then went even lighter with queen of the north pretty much blending that shade up into my brow bone then in the outer corner i started with majestic breeze i really wanted to make sure that was nice and deep and dramatic and i also just really love the shade majestic breeze from this palette then across the rest of the lid i used sovereign rain which is an absolutely true royal purple shimmer and then i kind of went back and forth between majestic breeze and sovereign rain just making sure that both were equally as pigmented but still distinguished and yet blended across the lid if you know what I'm saying and um, then I also took a combination of those and ran that pretty heavily down my lower lash line before finally adding a liner this is the Smashbox always on gel liner in the shade nymph it is a kind of a bluey plum shade that I ran across my waterline to kind of complement uh, that combination of Sovereign Rain and Majestic Breeze. I think layering Sovereign Rain over that Majestic Breeze really emphasized the iridescent finish that Purple Rain has. Yes, it can be built up to this really vibrant purple looking shade, but when you apply it over a darker and slightly different matte shade like Majestic Breeze, it just gives us really interesting iridescent purpley like lighter iridescent purple shift to it super interesting lots of really complex shades in this palette and just in general i really like it if you've been curious about sydney grace shadows i highly recommend you check them out as well as their liquid shadows or like their cream shadows i you should go check out that video they're just really cool lots of multi-chromatic sort of situations happening there Overall, nothing but good experiences with Sydney Grace. So if you're looking for a new brand to check out, this is a good one. So that's it for me, guys. If you haven't already, definitely go check out Alexandria's video and her channel overall. I personally think she has better swatches than me of this palette. So if you're still left kind of wondering what you're really getting, definitely go check out her video. Plus her look is gorgeous if you're looking for something a little bit more on the neutral side. Besides that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.